Welcome to Heritage TV, gentlemen. All right. Spotlight on music. Java Jays, the best dang coffee house in the USA. Uh, I've been waiting for this for a while. I talked to Charlie, I don't know, about a month ago, and he said, uh, yeah, we'd like to do this. And then when I found out, Brother Billy said, yes, man, was I happy. Because uh, when, I, when I got here, like, uh, I think I got back into music down here around 206. I was... Uh, doing a CD over at uh, Classic Recording and uh, I was watching uh, the local cable show and I saw this guy playing guitar so I went down to Richard and I said uh, Richard there's this guy I saw on TV last night playing a guitar like I'd never seen before and his name was Billy something and he went Billy Crawford and I said yeah I said do you want him I said oh yeah and uh, Long story short, we struck up a good friendship, and man, we had fun in that CD. Yes, we did. And through Billy at the Renaissance Center, I saw this guy, and I'd heard about him. I apologize for yeah. that, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you got to do what you got to do. But uh, I went to the Renaissance Center, and uh, I saw Charlie do a show with the Upsetters, and and. Uh, Asked him to play at uh, the Failure Soberfest. <laughs> I mean, we had five of the best bands you ever want to see, and had like 22 people came. You know? Any day sober is a success. You can't be a yes, failure. That's right. But uh, we we struck up a good relationship, and, and man, we got a good friendship. And and uh, these guys are great musicians, but they're even better people. You know. Uh, the powers of example, how they how they live their life, and uh, you know I'm just proud to have them on. Um, the best show I ever saw in my life, and I've been to a lot of concerts, was the Renaissance Center with you, you, Barrel House Chuck, Harmonica Todd. Man, what a show! I mean, these guys just kicked it, and. Uh, that's a few years ago, isn't it? About three years ago? About three years ago. And Have you got paid for that yet, Billy? Not yet. I'm still, still waiting, waiting, too. I was wondering. Yeah. I just paid out the $1,200 debt on Soberfest. <laughs> <laughs> well, you wasn't paying us for that one. <laughs> no, I couldn't pay you. Yeah, you were in the audience. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, folks out there, you, you're in for a treat tonight because uh, these guys can play. These guys are musicians. These guys cut their teeth on the blues. You know, Billy, you were all over the world doing this, right? Yeah. yeah. 20, 20 countries toured and played the blues. And the whole United States played the blues in every city you can name. Uh, I had the pleasure to do that. Blessed with, with the gift of music and uh, had a great opportunity and played with a lot of the people I always wanted to play with. I got to do that. And I'm very thankful for that. And you're an old Chicago blues man. Well, you know, when you ap approached me about uh, doing this 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 gig uh, as a as a blues show, um, you know, I've appeared on Spotlight on Music a few times, two or three times before. But uh, when when you had approached me about the possibility of doing a blues show and and getting a bunch of folks to come and 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 play together playing the blues i said well i'd like to do the show and i'd like to get together and play the blues but as far as that a bunch of people i don't know any part of that if billy crawford will do it then i'll do it yeah. uh because uh i just we we go way back billy and i we we uh really kind of grew up together yes um in the music and uh in in, in the clubs and learning to play uh, music 
uh, blues in particular. And uh, so we have a long history together. We've been friends for 20, over 20 years, I guess. I don't know, what year is it? Two, two, 2000, I mean today, what a year is it? Thank you. I was just checking the mics. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear me now? Yeah, like 25 years or better. And uh, there's a lot of people who uh, who claim that they uh, play blues and play music, but uh, uh, Billy is just the best, and he's my favorite guitar player in the world. So the fact that uh, we can get together here and play good music for good people is a is a good thing, huh? Yes. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it, you're in for a treat, man, because uh, there's not going to be any script tonight. You guys just do what you want to do and talk and have a good time. And, and uh, I, I am so thrilled and thankful for you guys coming here tonight. And uh, I just want to cut it short because I, I want to hear some music from uh, two of the best around. And I mean that sincerely, two of the best around. Time for music, folks. Thank you, Jerry. I gotta find my baby. I declare I wouldn't lie. I gotta find my baby. I declare I wouldn't lie. I ain't had no real good loving since that gal said goodbye. Well, I'm gonna walk the floor, baby, till my sideburns drag the ground. I gotta find my baby, cause I know what she putting down. I gotta find my baby, I declare I wouldn't lie. I ain't had no real good loving mm -mm, since that gal said goodbye. It's the last thing I ever do in my life Gonna find my Virginia heifer and make her my wife I gotta find my baby I declare I wouldn't lie I ain't had no real good loving Since that girl said goodbye see the sun a hurry to the west I know my whole life's gonna be a solid mess I gotta find my baby I declare I wouldn't lie I ain't had no real good loving since that gal said goodbye Happening. Billy, how many times you play Chicago in your life? Can you remember? How long we got? Hmm. A bunch of times. Probably the uh, 
favorite time that I ever played was Chicago Blues Festival in 2000 or 2001. Who in, was this in, somebody you played with? Uh, I played that day with Deborah Coleman. Uh, it was, it, the Chicago Blues Festival is the biggest free festival on the planet. It's in Grant Park, right in the middle of Chicago, downtown Chicago. But uh, we played, we walked out that day, and I think there were 60,000 people wow. out there just to see of people. But not only playing that was a pleasure, but we played right before Little Milton, Little wow. Milton Campbell. Wow. And we had to sit backstage and, and have dinner and hang out with him and talk. And That's awesome. And he died a few years later. Yeah. So, you know, those, those uh, people of the blues, they're leaving us. They're going away. Every year we lose more of them. And, and there's, it's not going to be long till they'll all be gone. We lost Pine Top this year. We lost Pine Top. It was one of the last of the, you know, that generation. And you you played with Pine Top, and yeah. I have myself. Both yeah. had the pleasure of, of playing with him. And it's and it's similar, um, you know, to the situation with members of say the Greatest Generation, the uh, men and women that, you know, fought and won at home and abroad the uh, Second World War. Is they're leaving us more and more every day. There's just nobody to fill their shoes. That's right. Certainly in the blues, you know, there's just no one that can take the place of a of a little Milton or a pine top. That's right. But you also played Chicago. Yeah, we, we, we were in Chicago several times. Um, uh, I don't think in the ten times or so that we, we ended up with 60,000 people <laughs> combined. We could play there 60,000 times and probably uh, you know catch up to you. But uh, um, every time that I play Chicago and every time I uh, think about Chicago, I think about this guy, Muddy Waters. So yes. let's try this thing called the Hoochie Coochie Man, all right? Gypsy woman told my mother Before I was born Say you got a boy child coming He gonna be a son of a gun Gonna make you girls Lead me by my hand And the world gonna know I know who Coochie, coochie man, but you know I'm here. Everybody knows I'm here. Well, I'm the hoochie coochie man. Everybody knows I'm him. On the seventh hour, on the seventh day, on the seventh month, the seventh doctor say, said he was born for good luck, and that you'll see. I got 700 guitars, and don't you mess with me. But you know I'm here Everybody knows I'm here Well, I'm the hoochie-coochie man Everybody knows I am
I first came to Johnson City in the summer of 79. Smoke no reform. I didn't drink no wine. But when that summer was over, I was a changed man. Cause they taught me how to pick up a bottle and they called me a reefer Dan. But you know I'm here. Everybody knows I'm here Well, I know who Chicoochie made Everybody knows I am But thank God I'm a changed man now. Yeah. That was then, man. This is now. And this is now, is right. You know, Billy and I were talking last night uh, on uh, email and back and forth, and it was really cool and funny. I was just laughing out loud reading some of those because we were just kidding around and saying that who we were going to have open the show for us tonight and be in the band. You know, we were coming up with the names of all these wing nuts that we've known through the years, you know. Musicians and believe it or not, in the music business, you meet some strange people. <laughs> yeah, they're I'm shocked. You. Okay, I'm no, they're you. shocked. <laughs> we could. Uh, I, I tell you what, you don't realize. I don't think just how many weird people and and the uh, degree of weirdness. Um, you know, I wrote a book about it, you know. That's right. Of course, uh, people talk about me a lot of times being, you know, like a renaissance man because I'm a singer, songwriter, a performer, uh, uh, run a, my own studio, I, uh, uh, um, I'm an author, uh, you know, got a band leader and everything. But Billy um, is a blues guitar player, a minister, and a cop. Yes. So that makes you a, just a renaissance man of the highest uh, order, I would say. I fought the law and they won. <laughs> That's right. And I bet that a lot of the guys you used to play with, the music with, that we were talking about, you, you probably if you haven't arrested them already, they'll come a time. You never know how things are going to turn out. <laughs> That's right. But I, I, I've lived a blessed life and I've done right. a lot of different things and seen a lot of things and I'm very thankful for that. But, you know, 20, 25 years ago when we were playing the blues on Walnut Street in Johnson City, we neither one ever envisioned where our life was going to lead us one day. Nope. And if you had to, you know, there's so many people that we were talking about in the email, and uh, I think the last time, correct me if I'm wrong, but the last time I think that you and I played music together was at our brother and bassist uh, George Hammond's funeral. Yes. And um, there's so many that have gone on and so many that are, geez, gone crazy or whatever. What, what would you say would, is the reason for you, uh, you and I being here today where we're at today? It's by God's hand that uh, right on. God blessed us and uh, brought us through uh, a lot of things mm -hmm. that I shouldn't have made, made it through them, but I did by His hand and His grace. I made it through, and I know you did also. And He's and got he, big he, hands, don't he? He's got big okay. hands, and you also have a great ministry. Uh, well, playing good music for good people, you know. Uh, I read that, uh, there's a great quote that I use all the time that says, you know you're doing God's work or God's will when your greatest joy and the world's greatest need meet. Yes. And, uh, you so know, true. we're blessed with the ability to play, play music and uh, reach people and yeah, hopefully yeah. And glorify Him in the process. And tomorrow is never promised to any of us. We, never, we don't have a promise of a next day. Uh, I also play music with a great band around here called the Scat Cats. Mm -hmm. And they've been around so a long time. And, uh, you know, we lost uh, Kenneth Springs that sang many years for that band. And that's a good example of, you know, he was there at one show and he's belting out all those great Otis Redding Sam Cooke songs yep. and, and then before we knew it he was gone from us and we miss him dearly but we just we don't know so we got to we, we need to cherish one another while we have each other around and and realize that uh, live this day knowing that tomorrow might not be here so make it count Amen brother can y'all say Amen somebody Amen. All right. <laughs>